everyone, it's North here. I'd like to discuss something that's very close to my heart. Sounds cringe, I know. Today, we're talking about the Animal Jam community and my feelings on it. Now first off, I think a lot of negative things are said and believed about this community, and some of them are true. However, is this community really that bad of a place? I've seen a number of people quitting the game because they say it's toxic and full of drama, etc. But is this necessarily true? And is it worth quitting the game over? Well, let me just say right off the bat that if you have quit Animal Jam because of the community, I don't, in the slightest, expect you to come back because of this video. And if you're satisfied with your decision, that's cool and good for you. But this video is more directed at people who are thinking about quitting, but who also don't want to. And basically, people who are conflicted about it. Or if you're just here for entertainment, that's cool too. Anyways, here's the first question. Is this community really toxic and full of drama? Well, it depends. See, it's hard for me to tell you that you'll never come across drama or toxic in this community because that's obviously a lie. Since drama is all the rage for kids and young teens, the target age range of the game, AJ and its community are natural magnets for drama. And as this community grows, it'll attract some more good people and some more crappy people. That's just the way it is and no one can change it. So yeah, you could say that this community has drama and is toxic. There are some people in this community who are stuck in toxic friendships and there's obviously some really petty drama. And as you get older, the drama that these children are getting into just seems more and more petty and ridiculous. But that's exactly why you shouldn't pay attention to it. It's petty and ridiculous. If you don't understand what I'm trying to say, just hang in there because I'm about to explain. A lot of people complain about all the drama in this community, but at the same time, by thinking about it and complaining about it, they're basically letting it affect them. Maybe not intentionally, but to me, it seems like a lot of people are letting this petty drama bother them. This doesn't mean they're getting involved in it, just that they're letting the drama they think is so petty get to them. Now, no disrespect, but did it ever occur to you that if you just ignored this drama and didn't let it bother you in the first place, you'd be able to have a much more positive outlook on this community? I know that for some people, the drama is kind of hard to ignore because it seems like it's everywhere, but I know for a fact that it's not unavoidable. Plenty of people are able to just ignore the drama and play the game for what it is and have fun in the community. I know it kind of depends on what people you're surrounded by because being in toxic friendships can also make the community more toxic from your perspective. And look, I may not be an expert on toxic friendships, but I do know this. If you surround yourself with good people and let go of the toxic people, you can have fun in this community. So, though I hate to put it this way, I'm just gonna be mean for a second here. If you let this drama and toxicity bother you, then yeah, obviously the community will seem like a bad place. But my community? is a great place. My community is an awesome place with awesome people. And no, it's not perfect, but it's a good place. And those setbacks make us stronger because I choose to see it that way. You can call me an optimist or immature, but honestly, that's not the way I see it. The way I see it, I just choose to see the good. I mean, if you wanna quit or have quit for another reason, that's cool. Like if you've just lost interest in the game, that's cool. But again, this video is more directed at people who are thinking about quitting because of the community or who are just feeling down about the community. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Sorry this video wasn't very long, hopefully you enjoyed it nonetheless, and if you didn't, well then, there's the door. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay close up, possibly fantastic. See you next Friday.